Talk a little bit more about what that information is like. It's not just complex information, it's specific yeah, information. Very good, let me, let me give just a little bit of a, of a, of a, of a science lesson here. Uh, there are two defi definitions of information that engineers and scientists and ordinary people are familiar with. Uh, in, in the engineering world, there's a, something called Shannon information, or it's a mathematical formula that describes how much information can be uh, carried along an information channel. So it's sometimes called information carrying capacity. And the, the mathematical definition of information only captures a, a part of what we typically mean by information. It just refers to the improbability of a sequence of characters. The more improbable an arrangement of characters, the more information is being conveyed. Yeah, it's like an alphabet where you just have gibberish. You got a lot of letters, but right. it doesn't do anything. So uh, look at the, for example, on this slide you have at the top, I, U, I, N, S, K. The gibberish string uh, is an information carrying channel. It could be arranged to convey information, but we don't know whether it's functional or non-functional. We don't know whether it's giving, con conveying any meaning. But we can still calculate him how improbable that exact str string is. And that's all the mathematical theory of information does. It calculates the information carrying capacity, but it doesn't tell us whether the information is functional or specifically arranged to convey a function. Yeah, and DNA has the second It one. has the second type of information. And here I use an English analogy with uh, tide and time wait for no man. Uh, um, a clearly functional string of characters that is conveying information that, that that is meaningful, okay? Now, uh, there's some terminology that goes with this. The top string is said to be complex, but it's not said to be specified and complex. In a mathematical parlance, complexity and improbability are the same idea. So the more improbable, the more complex something is. But DNA isn't just complex. It's not just an improbable arrangement of characters. It's specified and complex, just like English, English language or computer code is specified and complex. So when we talk about the DNA enigma, the, the mystery surrounding the origin of the information you need to build the first cell. We're not just talking about information in the mathematical sense of improbability, like the first line in the slide uh, uh, to my right. Instead, we're talking about information that is specified. The arrangement of characters matters to the function the, the, the string of characters performs. And that, that's what we have in DNA. And Francis Crick made that point very early on when he said he was aware of the, the mathematical theory of information. He said, when we're talking about information in DNA, we're not talking about merely mathematical information, merely Shannon information, as it's called by engineers. We're talking about specified information or functional information. And here he says, information means here the precise determination of the sequence, either of the bases in the DNA or the amino acids in the proteins. The, those those subunits or those important molecules have to be specifically arranged to perform the jobs that they do inside cells. This has been an ATRI production.